The 21st annual Wings Over Water Northwest Birding Festival takes place this weekend, March 15th through the 17th in Birch Bay, Semiamu, and Blaine. Debbie Harger with Wings Over Water explains that people travel from all over to attend the festival. We actually uh, promote the festival nationally through Cornell, and so we actually get people from all over. What excites Debbie the most about the festival? I think the opportunity for people to experience the birds and experience the uh, activities that are in nature and, uh, and the excitement of it, because people are excited and it's, it's one of those things where people are happy. And I think that's what I really enjoy about it is to see the discovery of what people see with the birds and the, our beauty around where we are live. Harger expresses why Birch Bay, Blaine, and Semiamu make the perfect venue for wings over water. Well, there's several reasons that this is a great place for a birding festival. Is uh, We're on the Pacific Flyway, so the birds are here in the spring and also in the fall. And in the spring, they're returning to their the northern locations, um, the Arctic, Alaska. And so it's a prime time for, for us to have the birds here. And then we also are um, on a, it's, we're called an important birding area or an IBA, which is a designation by Audubon for that very reason. And uh, because birds stop here and um, feed before they continue on. And so we are also on a uh, the wa Great Washington State Birding Trail as part of the Cascade Loop. And that is also a reason that we're located. Well, that's one of the reasons we, we are designated as in that location is because again, the birds are here. The weekend is packed with activity and opportunities to take tours and get educated on birding. Well, we have a variety of things going on kind of all within all three days. Um, there's guided bird walks. There are uh, speakers throughout the day on Saturday. Sa Saturday is our key day. Um, there are activities on Friday and on Sunday, but Saturday is the day where there's the most activities. That is when we have the Birding Expo in Blaine at the senior, actually at the Blaine Pavilion. We have speakers all day long, including our keynote speaker in the evening, which is Holly Merker. And we also have uh, kids activities, live raptor presentations, and, and all most the majority of these things do not require registration, which is nice. Some of the field trips and things like that fill up pretty quickly, and so they're not always available the day of the festival. So it is great to have all these other activities that people can join in. And one of the things that <clears throat> I really love is that there, if you don't get to go on a birding walk, you can still view the birds through a scope. And okay. we have uh, North Cascades Audubon have, has scopes uh, around the area specifically there's a map of those that you can pick up at the at the expo that uh, you can with a guide with a expert birder and tell you what bird you're looking oh how at. fun and it's really great it's great for all ages so kids get to experience it there are plenty of activities for children with the hope of encouraging them to spend more time enjoying the outdoors being in nature and learning about birds and wildlife I think is a key experience for kids and, you know, especially now with so many other diversions with cell phones and, you know, indoor games and things like that, just being outside and being able to experience wildlife and birds is a great, great experience for kids. Harger acknowledges that this event's success over the past couple of decades is a result of amazing community support and local sponsors. She wanted to be sure and recognize a couple of those sponsors and how they're helping to enhance the 2024 event. So uh, Birch Bay Bikes, which is a new business yes. <laughs> in Birch Bay, uh, has donated actually two bikes for our event. One of them is an e-bike, which we're going to be using as a raffle item uh, during the festival. And then uh, also a bike that is going to be um, used for a drawing for uh, the elementary school kids that have participated in a poster contest. Oh, cool. So although it won't be the best poster that's going to win the bike, it's going to be uh, participation in the poster contest, and then one will be chosen out of that. Ron Kuhlman from Birch Bay Realty has also offered up support in a fun and unique way. He wanted to do something, and so we, we determined that we what we could do is on Friday morning at 9 o'clock, from 9 to 10.30, he's going to come to Birch Bay, to the Heron Center and and the covered picnic area, he's going to serve his special cup of coffee. Uh -huh. And not only that, though, he's 
purchasing some special beans. He grinds his own beans, roasts his own beans, among many other particulars to make the best cup of coffee. But he's also purchasing bird-friendly coffee beans. Bird-friendly. <clears throat> bird-friendly coffee beans is important because uh, shade-grown coffee, which is done underneath the canopy of trees, protects the habitat for the birds that are in the tr in you know live in okay. the trees. Debbie went on to thank many other sponsors and supporters, including Seven Elements Wellness Spa, Blaine Senior Center, BP Refinery, the City of Blaine, and Blaine Birch Bay Park and Recreation District 2. As was mentioned earlier, this year's keynote presentation will be delivered by Holly Merker, a global advocate for mindful birding. She's authored books on birding and has been an instructor for the National Audubon Society, American Birding Association, and Red Knot Outfitters. This is Holly Merker, professional birding guide and an author of the book, Ornotherapy for Your Mind, Body, and Soul. I'm absolutely delighted to have been asked to be the 2024 Wings Over Water keynote speaker, and I'm looking forward to providing programs that enhance your experience with birds and nature, and also explain why your physician may soon be prescribing birding for you. Come join us for this year's festival as we share the joy of birds together. Greg Green, wildlife ecologist from the College of the Environment at Western Washington University, is also presenting, giving festival goers a different perspective, if you will. I will be a speaker on the opening night. I will be speaking about uh, my recent uh, nature photography project, which is entitled uh, Monet, Me and the Mallards. And this is a project that was my pandemic project. I wasn't uh, able to be around humans. I spent that time in uh, nature photography finds, um, ostensibly to photograph wildlife. But uh, like the impressionist painters of the late 1800s, you know, I discovered the beauty of, you know, uh, reflection of water. And combining that with that with the beauty of waterfowl, I combined the two genera and came up with a, you know, to me, a more expanded and very uh, attractive uh, suite of, of photographs. Uh, you have another presentation as well, and that has to do with hummingbirds, and that one piqued my interest. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that are interested on in why we might have a, you know, we have a wintering hummingbird, Anna's hummingbird that remains here through the winter. A uh, number of people were asking me this as a wildlife ecologist uh, a dozen years ago. So I got into that into that actual question, uh, combined all the research that compiled that had been up to that point, and uh, I wrote an article on it. And since that time, I've been involved in making sure that you keep an up to date on that particular phenomena. For more information on the Wings Over Water Northwest Birding Festival, visit their website, wingsoverwaterbirdingfestival.com.